Hi, my name's Charlotte. I'm from Stockdale and Lego at Corporate. I just wanted to firstly thank you very much for your continued support as a client of Stockdale and Lego. And the purpose of this video is to bring our clients up to speed. We do get a lot of questions um, fired at our offices around changes that are occurring within the Residential Tenancies Act. It is something that is affecting all of Victoria. So whether you have a property in Warrnambool, in Wangaratta, um, or in Werribee, or in the city, if you've got a property in Victoria, these changes will affect your tenants, regardless of who's managing it. So we wanted to be on the forefront and update you and educate you on what you need to be aware of. I'm standing here with uh, Leah Callan from the Real Estate Institute of Victoria. So I'm going to hand over to her so you can hear the changes from the horse's mouth. Thanks, Charlotte. Um, so there's been a lot of talk about the Residential Tenancy Act and the changes that are coming into effect as of the 1st of July 2020. And I suppose that's the part that we really need to emphasise. It's the 1st of July 2020. Um, so some of those changes will include uh, changes allowing uh, pets in, in a property and we'll run through the training that we're doing today with, with property managers, minor modifications and some minimum standards. There'll be changes made with regards to sales campaigns and the access arrangements that salespeople will need to work with property managers and, and tenants, uh, routine inspections. There's some uh, legislation changes around the wording. So landlords will now be called residential rental provider and tenants will um, now be referred to as renters. Yeah, right. So we have to get our head around those new words. Um, but overall, there'll be lots of training and between the Real Estate Institute of Victoria and Consumer Affairs and Stop Down Lego, we'll continue to do regular training and bring all of the, the landlords out there up to date with what's happening. So are you finding that there's a lot of hype in the media that may or may not be relevant to, to yeah. investors in Victoria? There's so much talk out there at the moment that everyone needs to be trained now and um, you know everyone needs to know what's going on now. But the funny thing is, Consumer Affairs actually haven't finished writing all the paperwork. Right. So there's no point in running on training when you don't have paperwork. Absolutely. You know? So yeah, we just need to calm down. Everyone just needs to calm down. and It will come and it is coming and I'm lucky enough to, to be privy to some of that information. Um, but we will do that training as it comes through. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Leah. My pleasure. We are very happy here at Stockdown Lego to be working with the Real Estate Institute and, and Leah particularly and, and obviously Consumer Affairs. If you are concerned or you do have any questions, be it your property with Stockdown Lego or another agency out there, please feel free to reach out to your local Stockdown Lego agency and we can do our absolute best to educate you on what's coming, uh, what you need to be aware of now. And again, I guess the, the message is that the majority of these changes aren't taking place till July 2020. So we need to continue as we are today, um, using today's legislation and not being too concerned, being aware, but not being too concerned about what will happen in another year's time. And we will continue to train our staff accordingly. So again, if you've got any questions, do reach out to Stockdown Lego. And thanks again to Leah. Thanks. Thank you.